Hey guys, before we get started this week, we wanted to let you know that we recorded ourselves watching Final Fantasy The Spirits Within, mm -hmm. the feature film. And it's up on Patreon now, uh, the commentary track. So you can, if you want to watch The Spirits Within and listen to us talk about it while you watch it, yes, ruining real, your movie-going experience. Our live <laughs> reactions, real time. Go to patreon.com slash nocat for just $5. You can get that. You also get all other bonus episodes and the video version and the episodes early, so so it's really a great deal. <laughs> so go to patreon.com slash nocat and get the spirits within. And thank you to all our Patreon supporters. We yes. really appreciate it. And with that, let's start the show. As long as we're talking about really stupid movie ideas, I was at uh, <laughs> Big Chicken. And for some reason, the phrase, what chicken want, came into my head. And I was like, the Mel Gibson movie where he can hear what chickens want. <laughs> what chicken want? <laughs> And it's just the movie where he's just hearing, like, he's, he's just hearing just like food, 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 just like stupid bird thoughts. <laughs> like, and he's like, stop see, it! See, 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 shut running, up! Running away! Running away! Yeah, shut up, shut up! <laughs> he can't help them. No, he goes he crazy. He can't, like, do anything he to learn. He doesn't have anything to learn. No, no, there's no, like, benefit. It's just a nightmare. He doesn't grow to understand chickens better and that he was treated. <laughs> them badly. Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ackman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And here we go, season four, episode four, and Haley's barking. Also, I think I misspoke there. I said season four. It's season five, episode four, which means I need to rename the document that we're working on right now. Okay, now that I've done that, we're on season five, episode four, and it's a new day. Yeah, we are, we're coming back to start a whole new day of playing Final Fantasy II. Yeah. Not something I was excited to do well, at the time. This was, I think, the day where we were dreading it the least. Yeah, since we had been starting to make forward progression, I kind mm -hmm. of went into this going like, yeah, this won't be so bad. I yeah, mean, we'll continue today, and that'll be that, <laughs> and that's the task we're doing. Because it's even like, you know, you have to grind in every Final Fantasy game. At least in this one, you can pick what you're going to grind, so that's... Something. I mean, that's a sword that the thing other is, edge it, it, comes the back other and edge slices is just me. Like, it sucks, because then you're just like going into fights without the purpose of even winning them. You just want them to last as long as possible, and all the enemies are running away, and you're uh -huh. trying to use up enough magic to make your MP go down far enough that it can go up higher. Uh -huh. That's the oh, other edge God. of the sword, as people say. If you're not constantly burning all of your resources, you lose levels. It's yeah. just... And it doesn't stop dawning on us for, like, episodes ahead how much this sucks. The other games I can think of that have a leveling system like this are the Elder Scrolls. Mm -hmm. And, like, thinking back, this way of leveling just fucking blows. It like, pretty much blows. In Oblivion, I remember if you jumped too much, mm -hmm. your jumping would level up. Mm -hmm. Which would cause you to gain levels <laughs> without your combat skills going up. Meaning the whole world would be too overleveled for you but you could jump really high. Man, if they had kept that in Skyrim, my jumping, because I, all I did in that game was jump up mountains. Well, like, yeah, because you're, just you're always jump. jumping yeah. when you're walking around. Exactly, so there's no way to not level up your jumping if that was the way that worked. Yeah, no, you had to, you had to be sure to not jump. Just like in Mario Lost Levels, you have to level up your jumping. You have to level up your jumping <laughs> in that in that game. I, I mean, is it even worth critiquing a game this old? It's they learned their lesson. They didn't I know. Do yeah, it again. that's the thing. Like, we, like <laughs> we ran into this in FF One. I remember where we were like, I mean, so now we're gonna tell them all the things that people told them over the years, and they listened to or did figure out themselves. Like, what is yeah, the purpose I mean, of we're, us doing we're, this now? We're arguing against this game that like. <laughs> They never that tried they again. Would, their reaction would be like, yeah, you know, I mean, the, at the time, it was right. hard to make games, and they, they couldn't be as good as they are now, and we did our best. We were that. learning and trying something on that one, you know? That's part of why we didn't release it in America. Anyway, let's get into it. Yeah. Here we go. All right, day two. When will they make dogs with hands? <laughs> they still walk around, but their front paws are hands. <laughs> and they can jump up and pick stuff up like monkeys. That actually would be a fucking nightmare. It would be... That would be really bad. But think of the possibilities. Yeah, I am. That's the problem. <laughs> they sound really like society's in trouble. 
Oh, I mean, I don't think it's even as bad as, like, the invention of the internet or cell phones. mayhem, man. <laughs> Dogs with hands, they'd be grabbing food off of tables all the well, time. Well, if you trained them well, though, they could also, like, you know... Uh... Uh-huh. Get you a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of bringing in the paper. <laughs> they could bring you a nice glass of water. And um, there's a cure facilities... <laughs> yeah, you're right. The CIA would be all over that. All right. Um, so my feeling right now about this game is that we're actually going to make forward progress. Like it was really disturbing yesterday when we thought that like there were these invisible walls and the walls were made out of extremely hard enemies. Yeah. And we could only go in this one area and we couldn't progress, but we actually could go. We and just talk didn't to a understand guy. the stupid learn mechanic. <laughs> exactly. So now we know how to learn. So my hope is that we will be able to make our way towards a thing and do, like we did all that whole dungeon last night. Yeah, you know, and it was it, it wasn't, wasn't that bad. That bad. We'd only had to go back once. So I'm gonna hit power. And you know, I mean, <laughs> we haven't played a Final Fantasy game yet that wasn't surprising in some way. Yeah. I I bet there will be some fun stuff. I mean, that giant warship. We're gonna go blow up the warship. So what we were doing, we gotta go to Borch. We gotta go to Borch. The name of that town is Bofsk. Bofsk. One more time, Bofsk. We've gotta go to Bofsk. Bofsk. And find the people who are working on destroying the airship. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Sid. Yeah. I do really like the uh, overworld music. So I walked to Palm, which is where you can catch the sea taxi on the way to Poft, which, which is where you can catch the air taxi. The reality is, now that I know this map, like, the sea taxi is the real necessary thing. Yeah. And then all the other towns are, like, next to each other. The thing is, I now feel like I understand the way I was supposed to explore it in retrospect in a way that during the entire playthrough, I never felt like I understood the map. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I feel have a theory like I'm that you were actively past. not trying to understand or learn anything <laughs> that was happening in the game. To it, because not you have this not like consciously. in this game through watching this, you have this like amnesia where you'll go to a place yeah. and someone will tell you a thing, and then you'll leave, and someone will be like, "You got to go to the blah blah blah," which yep. is where you were, and you're like, "Well, where the fuck is that?" <laughs> and I'm like, it's, "We were just there." I know. I, <laughs> something was up. Uh, I'm gonna take Sid's airship. I think Sid is still further north yet. Oh, he's not in this town? No, I don't think so. He's in the town I take the boat to. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I want to ride your boat. To Poft. Ship will be waiting. So I get to Poft and I talk to Sid to get to Bosk. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit like, yeah, I was an idiot about things, but I was like, Poft and Bosk and like, I just didn't, I couldn't understand what was what. And people in Altia were talking about Kashun. I was having trouble and I feel You're like explaining I'm an idiot. what a video game is. You're like, in I this know. world, there's what multiple places. <laughs> what was wrong with me? All right, we're going to Bosk. Yeah. The little ship will be waiting outside. Get some goddamn tea. And get on the airship. It's weird that they have a character who owns the airship, but you gotta talk to his assistant. It is weird. Okay. But we make it to Bofsk, mm -hmm. where, yeah, everyone helpfully just tells you what you need to do next. Please defeat the warship. You'll need a pass to get on the warship. Okay. So these guys were saying nothing before. Yeah. There's a rebel spy in the enemy's that, army. That's an interesting way of blocking off <laughs> this part of the story. <laughs> Just Morgan. Nobody talks until you get to this part of the game. <laughs> One of the guys in town is this guy we've been hearing about, Borgen. Yeah, he's a bad guy who I guess is like the slave driver, making everyone build the airship. Barking some orders. Work, damn you. Quit slacking off. Warship. Mithril. Airship. Wild Rose. I need a pass. Work, work. Everyone works to add to Borgen's wealth. Okay, this is Borgen. Okay, so Borgen gets more corrupt the richer he gets, and he's getting richer and richer. Borgen? Borgen. Did you come to see the warship? You can get there through the sewers. Okay. Oh, so you're the rebels. Head through the sewers. Behind you. Okay. So now he disappeared, and the sewers are this way? Oh, shit. Yeah. Shit! Yeah, there was a guy blocking off the edge of town. 
Yeah, if you say the right stuff to him, he gets out of the way, and you can access the sewers, which is the secret way to the warship. Yeah, there's a little stairway down behind a building. See, this is what I meant. Like, there's movement. Yeah, this is this is cool. And the sewers are a dungeon. As dumb as I think this learn mechanic is, it's kind of neat. Talk to everybody you meet is working out. Oh, watch this, bro. Watch this, bro. I'm super excited because we're encountering some zombies <laughs> and we have a cure spell, and I know that cure hurts zombies. Cure them. They're zombos, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. Damn. These zombies fell. We're getting good. Yeah, like this doesn't, at this point, feel that hard, which is nice. I think we nicely leveled for a little bit accidentally. And now we know what to do and how the game works. And, and that's that. Mm -hmm. I just hope that we don't hit another massive wall. Exploring new areas, It, it would sucks. be nice to not hit a wall, but I, I mean. You don't have much hope for that? Yeah. Well leveled up. Yeah, it's the one of the weirdest leveling systems I've ever seen. These balloons are gonna get popped. You let Haley out. Yeah. So Ryan led Haley out onto the patio where she likes to bark at people going by, usually within ten seconds of us opening the door for her. Capped out of her burning. I give it like ten more seconds. Huh? That was wrong. Has it been a full tap? Now it has. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can both agree now that it's been at least 10 seconds. Yes. I still I think know. I was right on the money. I think you might have been <laughs> curious. We can... I love we can know. How close was I to 10 seconds? You were in the 6 to 8 second range when you go, uh, I guess I was wrong. And then the second that I say it's now definitely been 10 seconds is right on the 10 second mark. Well, I, I'm i kind of proud you, of it. You get this one. You get yeah. this completely petty. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was like, so maybe it wasn't 10 seconds. You waited Who only cares? 6, you know? <laughs> the audio doesn't lie. And she's back, and she never wants part. Haley, I'm so proud of you. You're a good girl. Come here, good girl. Maze, 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 maze. <laughs> Look at these terrified hornets running away. I wish hornets ran away from me because I was bigger than them. <laughs> In real life. It's crazy to think of the music this man would go on to make listen when listening to this. Right? <laughs> this is an old-fashioned maze with actual dead ends and no treasure in them. I kind of like it. This might be a season that starts really, really, like, uh, negative and then ends kind of like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's totally possible <laughs> that that's what happens. So we make it through most of the sewers. <laughs> yeah, and at the end you run into the Dark Knight, who has some threatening words for you. But you don't fight him yet. The Dark Knight, the worship is complete. You thought I would leave behind my work without finishing? In the wake of my worship's destruction, the rebels will have no choice but to surrender. Well, he ran off. After the Dark Knight runs off, Borgen runs by. Borgen. Running after him and yells something at us real quick. You spoony guys. Okay, that's gotta be. Uh, I think the translator's having some fun. I agree. He didn't want to stop us here, and now? No, he wants to hop, run away and hop on the so fucking we just, airship! We just fucking failed. Shit. What a twist. Now what? So right as we make it to the airship, we're too late. Mm -hmm. Because he jumps on the airship and flies it away. And we're standing in the airship area, just looking up like, no, come I back. think this is supposed to be a dramatic moment, but... We're just sitting there going, now what? Okay, where do we gotta go? Yep. Uh, I think you gotta walk back through this tunnel. Well, there was, like, another route that it, like, to the right here. You know, Haley, I know the spot here fascinates you. But Haley! Nothing down there. Stop it. I'm up here. Come here. Come here. Girl. I got the pass. Yeah, Haley is often fascinated by the area under Ryan's feet, because it's, like, where... Sometimes when I'm alone, I eat there, and then food gets dropped, and so it's the most interesting it's spot to lick. It's just the tastiest part of the carpeting. I think mm -hmm. part of it, too, must be mm -hmm. that she's licked that spot so much yeah. that, like, the spit itself 
adds to the flavor yeah. and the seasoning of the carpet. But just back inside the tunnel or in the sewers, there's a box that's got the pass. We've now got the pass that we need to get on the warship. But it flew away, so now we got to go find We're it. We're going to have to go chase it down. Mm -hmm. so the is like, we'll need, you'll need a pass to get on the warship, right? So now the warship is gone. But now I've got a pass. So maybe when we find it again, we can get on it. And what have we here? What? A teleportation device to over here? Well, thank you, game. Yeah, that's good. That was very nice. Is that like the only dungeon with a teleporter in it? No, there's a couple places where you get teleported, but they seem to just pick and choose. It's you not don't always consistent. Get it. This one has a shortcut out of it and a teleporter at the <laughs> end of the shortcut. <laughs> Many of them, like, I guess they assume you have the exit spell at a certain point. I know. But it would just be a nice feature. We know they can do it. They had the technology. If this were uh, our playthrough of the original game, we would have, like, turned around and walked back and then, like, there was a. <laughs> Teleportation? So we check on the people in town who were building the warship, mm -hmm. and they're all like, it's all over, the warship is done, it's taking off to destroy everything. In later Final Fantasies, this is how the plot goes. It's like the Empire keeps striking back mm -hmm. until you, like, defeat hatred at the end. So they set it up here. The Empire is that interesting? continues to strike back. Is that, does anybody care about this? They might. Somebody. <laughs> the warship is complete, this is the end. Dot, dot, dot. Hilda just returned with her back in control. We may have a chance. Hilda's here? The warship is heading to Puffed. So I guess now that the warship is done, they're like, whatever, we don't want this town? Ask Sid. He should know a lot about the warship. Warship. All right, well, he's no. got it. So we should go talk to Sid. I think so. I can't believe there wasn't a boss at the end of that. He ran away. I know. But, you know, I feel like usually in Final Fantasy, even if they run away, they're like, and I'll leave you with my monster. Yeah, that's you're right, you. you're right. I was gonna say, usually they, like, fight, you fight them, and then once they take enough damage, they're like, I'll that's see you later. Like that too, yeah. <laughs> How the fuck do I get back to Poft? Uh, I, I don't know where Poft is. Here. I think I gotta go to the left. You gotta go to that one, yeah, the one on the left is where Sid is. Because I, I, I was in Bosk. Poft is the one where Sid is. I'm starting to get it. Poft is over to the left from mm -hmm. Bofsk. Fucking too many hornets. You're getting a spam phone call. I'm always getting a spam phone call. You can count on it. I get them often enough that you could take bets in Vegas on like, is Ryan getting a spam phone call right <laughs> like now? Like right now. <laughs> it's like probably not, but it happens often enough that like you, you could, could win big. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, we're gold- like, I feel pretty relaxed about this game right now, like, we're not even struggling. Fuck. <laughs> what were those snakes doing with all those potions? So we make it to Poft. People here are also freaking out. So many people died when the warship so the warship came through here? I'm gonna sleep in the inn and sell some shit, and then talk to Sid. Yeah. Good night, sweet dreams. Oh, now we can buy the mithril. Should we get this? Like, the mithril sword? Doesn't he have- what does he have? He has, like, like mithril armor. armor. Okay. He doesn't uh, have a mithril sword. Or the mithril axe. Sure. Let's get the mithril yeah, axe. because he's been leveling axes. Yeah, let's do that. This is one of the only times it really felt to me like I was upgrading gear and I understood I was upgrading gear and it felt like an upgrade to my gear. Well, I think we only really upgrade our gear one more time because, like, the way that the gear works in this game is all just based on how skilled you are with it. So yeah. you almost never are getting new shit. Anytime you get someone a new weapon, it sucks for, like, an hour and a half yeah. until they level it up. Yeah, look at that. His attack went from 21 to 28. Nice. Now we're going to sell the battle axe? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Our fighters nice. are getting good. Yeah. We gotta buy a bunch of magic at some point. But Let's see what this place is. I don't think we have the money for it. I don't think so either, but we do for <laughs> some of this stuff. So we also stop off to get some new magic while we're here. We're trying our best to do our best. Should we give him blink? I think we should give him blink. Okay. Um, if for no other reason than to just have something to have him cast so he can be leveling. Mm -hmm. I still haven't seen any Curus armor. Get out of the way of the bridge. There's nobody in the pub anymore. So they died. Everybody died. Say what you got to say. Hey, the man beside say. me, right on the airship. No, say to him, warship. Right. You must destroy the warship. Airship. 
Oh! Oh, my airship uses Sunflame for power. Learn Sunflame. What the fuck? We were told to talk to Sid, and that's what we're doing. And we learn Sunflame, and thus begins an enormous loop of getting items to learn about other items, to get the items you need, to get to the place you gotta go, <laughs> to unlock the door. Say Sunflame. Well, they toss like a dozen MacGuffins at you at once. <laughs> That you need to get in a specific <laughs> order to get the final MacGuffin. The excess of flame in in an airship's engine is disastrous. Okay. okay. So we gotta get on and turn up the sun flame. Yeah, I guess the sun flame is like a very unstable reactor, so we're just gonna go and blow up the warship by turning up the sun flame. Well, we gotta get the sun flame to throw into the sun flame on the warship. To double to up the double sun flame. We've actually already seen the sun flame when you flew to Kashun. It's true. For no reason. When the I sun flew to flames in there. It's we passed it. They tell you the sun flame burns brightly or something like that. It does. Look at it. Should we go back to the queen now? You going to yes. sell Mando? Because like it said something about Hilda. We had to talk, but Hilda's not at Sel Mando. No, I know. Okay, let me go back to Posh or P Push or whatever the fuck the other. We're in Posh, but with Palm. That's it. Like, I'll check in here, but... We were told we need to get the sun flame, but we don't know yet, like, where that is, right? Well, really? No, we don't, but I think we go talk to Hilda, who yeah, lays we're gonna... the whole thing out. So on our drive back to Altea, I stop off in Palm real quick, because like, we're, while we're here in town, I'm like, well, let's see what people have to say. Maybe they'll talk about the sun flame. What do you got to say? It's hopeless. I'm not be guy. Yeah, the first time you come here, everyone's like, Palm is a free city. I hope it stays that way. Yeah, not anymore. My daughter, she's dead. It's not a good place. This, so the warships <laughs> are going around. So they're doing some, like, you know, you visit the whole world, and then the whole world changes. Yeah. Haley, Haley get the fuck Stop out of the from being there. under my feet Seriously. constantly today. The warships swept through Palm. So it's that guy. You look so dejected, Haley, but I just don't want yeah, you under my feet. Just, just do, like, be cool. Anyway, we make it to Altia, and I'm walking around talking to everybody in the castle. The warship keeps attacking, but all we want is peace. Sob. Peace will return only when the warship is destroyed. Please, God. <laughs> oh my God. Prince Gordon isn't here. Where could he be? Oh, that guy took off. Where could he be? Do you somehow survive? Return here. <laughs> okay. Well, I do. I want to get far away from the Empire, but my luggage is too heavy. <laughs> so we talk to Hilda, and she updates us. Her dad still isn't doing great. Many people were killed by the warship's attack. Father's deteriorated. Isn't there anything men can do? I'll stay here and try to ease his pain. Min doesn't want to hang out with us anymore. Yeah, Min's got better shit to do. David, you must stop the warship. No, Min! Airship. Warship. Min is really a great loss. Yeah. Like, I don't think you ever really recover from Min leaving your party. Like, they, they don't ever give you anyone as useful as Min. Fuck. What are we gonna do without Min? Shit. Oh, wait. Now if I talk to her again and say Sunflame. The Sunflame is Kashun's emblem. It sits proudly on this castle first floor. That flame can't be removed by any normal means. That little line of dialogue, <laughs> I'm so confused by it for like hours on. Because what she's saying is the sun flame is Kashun's emblem. Mm -hmm. But I thought that she was talking about an emblem on the first floor of this building. Mm -hmm. That we were going to have to go to Kashun to get something to come back and do here. Yeah. So for the next hours, I'm going to be going like, but what do we have to do back in Altea? And yeah. there's nothing. But what she really means is it's all at Kashun Castle. So we need the sun flame in order to destroy the warship. They just threw too many different places at you, and none of them are distinct because you haven't even been to them, really. Also, I think part of me is still thinks you that think Kashun is You think you're in Kashun right now. <laughs> I don't know. I could be. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I mean, I know that technically every game is just padded out with quests that are not necessary. That's what a video game is, is just getting you to go along on quests. Yeah. 
But this quest loop of like, well, we know where the sun flame is, but to remove it, you need this right sun flame tool, and to get the sun mm. flame tool, you gotta go talk to, to this guy. Also, open the to door there, to the sun flame gonna, tool. You're gonna need the sled to get across the snow to get the sun flame. T- it just like <laughs> is never ending. And by the time you get the sun flame, you just don't even remember that you were getting it. You no. know, you've done so much other bullshit. But I become convinced that there's something on the first floor of Altia's castle. <laughs> <laughs> There's not. Find a way to harness of the sun. Flame. Flame. At any cost. Wait, the goddess bell? Hidden in a cave far north of here. Yeah, she also tells us that there's a goddess bell hidden somewhere north of here that we're going to need to get the sun flame. Is it the goddess bell leads to the eagle torch, which can carry the sun flame? That is, I think, the, the main sequence of the loop. Fucking shit, so we have no men. We have no men. We don't really know where to go. We, there's a cave to the north with a goddess bell. But then the sun flame is on the first floor of some castle? Of this building. It's an, they said it's an emblem. I also thought she was talking about the this emblem building. being on the... Yeah, in yeah, this building. we're both confused. Where the fuck? Apparently you can't remove the sun flame by normal means. Well, let's go find the sun flame. Here's me. Sun flame. Fire festival. The fire festival. Yeah, <laughs> takes place at a, once every three years at Kashoo. So there's a guy in the king's room who tells you about this ceremony, it's I Min. guess, where they. Is it Min? In yeah, Min oh, right. was like, it's I'll Min. stay by the king's side. Right, he's in the. He's by the king's side. <laughs> I, it's hard to tell. What it they is look hard like. to tell. It's not like he's very distinct. He looks exactly like the other fucks who wander around right. in the palace. But he did just say that he was going to be by the king's side. But and he, here he is. The sun flame was transferred. Onto the edgel torch for purification. He tells us about this sick festival that happens every three years, the fire festival, Mm -hmm. where they move the sun flame around on some kind of fancy torch, and that's the only torch that can move it. You're going to need the torch. Mm -hmm. So if you could find the edgel torch, the sun flame could be yours. All right. You gotta get okay. the edgel okay, torch get to get the sun torch. flame, and then also separately there's a thing. There's in the a game. goddess bell. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Scott sealed Kashun's entrance to protect the sun flame, just as he was captured by the Empire. The goddess bell. Wow. Wow. I could have missed this. Yeah. I could have easily not talked to this king. Easily. Yeah. Well, that would have been a big mistake because then I wouldn't have been able to learn the word goddess bell. Which I had already learned, by the way. Yeah, did we not learn the word from the princess? No, you learn it from talking to the king, even though we had learned about the goddess bell already. Well, luckily we didn't run into that. This game sucks. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't know, this is kind of cool. Like, yeah, this is more up your alley, but I, I don't know. But there you have it. Everybody in town is telling you, like, you need the goddess bell to get the eagle torch, to get the sun flame, to get mm-hmm. the warship, and that's the situation. Only the family of Kishu knows where the goddess bell is. Apparently it's in a cave to the north. The, the way that this information puzzle exists is neat. I mean, it would be way better designed today, but... Gordon knows where the bell is, but he fled when Altia was attacked by a coward. Is Gordon the We were told where the bell is. Borgen? Is Gordon and Borgen? No, no, they're not the same. <laughs> so we go back to Princess Hilda and tell her goddess bell. And yeah, then... we shout it in her face. Goddess bell. I've heard Joseph talk about that sometimes. Perhaps you should take another trip to Salmondo. She tells us we should go talk to Joseph back in Salmondo. So once again, we gotta fucking haul our asses back to the top back of the to world. Salmondo. <laughs> We're going around the same fucking four towns, just running back and forth, taking airships back and forth. Where the fuck did the warship go? Well, didn't she say the goddess bell was in a cave to the north before? Yeah, but then also there's all this shit of like, we gotta go find the other thing. So we should go to Salmondo now? Or we could go to the north and look for this cave. Yeah, we can do both of those things. Well, Salmondo is to the north, so it could be a stop on the trip. Luckily, those are the same tasks. Yeah. You gotta go <laughs> north to Salmondo to talk to Joseph, mm-hmm. who will then take you to the cave where the bell is. Yeah, we don't have money for ships. We got 70 bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So now we're gonna go to Posk. Poft. Yeah. My husband is safe, thank you. Your hu- your help save us. Okay, these people. So we make it all the way back to Salmondo. Mm-hmm. We're exploring the town. Take the Mithril to Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? There was a guy 
They said in Salmondo, who knows about the goddess bell. Okay, he's gotta be in that room. I'm in love with Joseph. Oh, Joseph, yeah, Joseph, he's spell. in here. Yeah, okay. Worship. Sunflame. Airship. Mythical. If Joseph and this woman don't hook up by the end, I'm gonna be pretty upset, right? So we go talk to Joseph. He's in his house. Goddess bell. It's hidden somewhere up north around the snowy mountain range. He's got all the answers. Can't enter the snowfield without my ice sled. I hid it in the Semite cave. Going back to the Semite cave. Going back to Jew. A secret chamber exists on the ground floor. Oh, are you coming with us? Are you our new guy? I've marked the spot, I'll show you the way. Yeah! Joseph joined. Joseph. We're already retracing our steps in this game. Yeah, we've got Joseph in the party now, we've got to go back to the Semite cave, and this is where things get a little bit confusing, because he says there's a secret chamber on the ground floor. Right, because to get to the cave with the goddess bell, we're going to need a sled, which mm -hmm. he didn't keep at his fucking house. He hid it in a cave far away that we've already been to. At first, I was like, I can't believe they made a whole game in a year, but like... They really, they it's obvious how yeah. they did it, because they just, like, have added in quest loops to make it longer. So you're gonna have to get the sled to get the... Goddess Bell. Goddess Bell. To open Kashun. To open Kashun, to get the, the Eagle Torch, torch to, to get, get the, the sun, sun Flame, to destroy the warship. To destroy, yeah, to destroy the warship. All of that takes place, like, that's one quest. That's the quest to get the Sun Flame. That's what we're doing right now. So we gotta go back to that Mithril Cave? Yeah. Now that Joe's in our party. Daddy, come back soon, goddess bell. <laughs> Wild Rose. What's she gonna say to us now that Joseph's in the party? I go talk to the girl that's in love with Joseph, with Joseph in the party, expecting something, but she doesn't even no, see she, that she, she he's doesn't there. notice. But I'm in love with Joseph. <laughs> goddess bell. <laughs> I feel like that could be like just one of those like rap things, like you know, the beat plays for a minute and you just go, Goddess Bell. <laughs> like some kind of chemical Spang. brothers thing. No, I mean more Gosh, like trap. Yeah. Just like, well, yeah, it could be that too, but I mean more like trap music where, you know, like they're kind of okay. like, and then, you know, just kind of be like on point. Oh my Goddess God, look, look how strong Joseph is. Jesus. He's gotta be a fighter. Because he's got no MP. Where, you know, where they just say random shit, they're like, gold chains. So we have to go back to Soft the cave. Chairs. Got we, hang on, hang on. We have to go back to the cave mm -hmm. to pick up his ice sled, to then go up further to the north to go to the other town. Yeah. Why? Just have the sled. Because this game's got to be epic, man. Why would you hide a sled? Yeah, what? <laughs> Nobody can find the sled? What is so dangerous about the sled? If the sled falls into the wrong hands, like... <laughs> No. He had to hide the sled. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he had to hide the sled. I feel like you're a little bit ungrateful for the help he's offering. I am ungrateful. You know, he's like, I have a sled, and you're like, why the fuck isn't it with you? And he's like, I, I mean, I didn't know you I were gonna know be you, you coming. needed it. I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> he's like, look, I'll, I'll even come with you. I think we should have Joseph punch some of our dudes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't worry about I it. I forgot. To... I, I just think he would he would quickly up there. Uh, uh, well, I like upped Min's HP right before he took off. Mm. So we make it back to the Semite cave. And this is where it gets confusing, because Joseph came with us to mm -hmm. show us where he hid it. Yep. Which he doesn't fucking do. Like, it's just in here? I just gotta go through he this cave again? He, he said on the ground floor there's a secret door, and he, he knows who he marked it. It's Was it probably this? Probably that. It's probably that. This thing that we it's were like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. yeah, if you remember our first time through here, there was a big rock, and we were like, "What? that's nothing? And apparently it was nothing. Well, I mean, it is like the marker for him to know where he hid it, but it's not in or under the rock. Well, we're gonna go interact with that rock. <laughs> nothing there. There's nothing here, Ryan. Nothing. Absolutely nothing is there. What? When he said ground floor, did he mean top floor? Like, that, the yeah, the ground floor is the one at ground level. Assuming the translation is okay. So while I'm here in the cave, I'm trying to level our guys. And I have Slam attack David, but he fucking kills him. <laughs> I was oh! afraid of that. I was afraid of that. I was fucking afraid of that. 
Man, I was really afraid of that. You know why I was really afraid of that? Because he's, Cause the, he's the motherfucker who ran this life! <laughs> You're now, like, down multiple floors into the cave, even well, though... There was no way to interact with that boulder. I know, but <laughs> it's still, like... Now, <laughs> the only guy who can really help us out is David, and he's dead. Yeah. So, what the fuck? Oh, boy. Oh, hey, different sprites. Fuck! That was so stupid. <laughs> Shit. Damn it, man. The slam's health is way up. Oh, hey, Haley, be careful. Can I look this up? Yeah. You just keep going down many floors. Well, I'm like, it wasn't there. I, I that's go, a, it must that's be a good down point, at the bottom. But I think we also, it's like we know that it's not at the bottom also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm an idiot! It's okay, we're both idiots. <sighs> Fucking getting a call from Italy, Texas. Spam risk. No, thank you. Italy, Texas? I, I've never heard of it, but it could be a place. We have a Paris, we have a... And you're looking up whether I'm going in the right direction? I'm getting there, yeah. They say it's that blue stone. You what? Above and to the right of the stone. Oh, you gotta examine a wall near the stone. You what? Yeah. You do what? Also, the re-release of this game looks so much better. What the fuck, dude? I went up the thing and said nothing there. Man. No, this is if this works the same way as in the one I'm reading, this is gonna be so dumb. It marks the secret path. Joseph left a rock near the secret door. Mm -hmm. And and they, in our party, he's just silent about it. Could they not have programmed in when you check the rock? He's like, there's a secret door near this rock or something Apparently to help you. Apparently they only had a year to put this, this is, game together. This is also totally one of those things that I think is meant to hang you up so you have to call the hotline. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the only way to find this would be to just fucking walk around touching the walls. What, like, who said to do that? Nobody. Okay, now, I think the wall in the top right corner you should go ex There's nothing there. Oh, there's something there. Dude! Yeah. No. No, he Holy didn't. Holy shit. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He pushed a small rock nearby mm -hmm. on the wall, and a door opened, and he said the ice sled is nearby. What are you... Yeah, he did. Look, it says he did. I know it says he did, but, like, why... <sighs> I can't believe, I can't believe this. Now try to the rock, maybe, I don't know. Oh, oh like, now I go in okay. here. Like, <laughs> he didn't Amazing. say a door near the thing, did he? No, he was like, I marked where it is, I'll come with you. <laughs> yeah, the doorway just leads to a simple treasure room with just a box in it, and the box has the ice sled. So that was like a marker of like roughly where his like- Maybe that, he was like, I put a doorways. giant rock near my hidden door. That would have been a better way to say it. I put a giant rock near my hidden door. Yeah, it would have. I think I have to go back to town to revive our dude, and then go up to the snow village. Yeah, for sure. Sick of fighting goblins, dude. Like, I just don't need to be fighting them anymore. Well, we're gonna finally use that statue. Yep. Statue, bring me back to life. So it's time to go use the revive statue, because David is still dead. Yeah, which in this game you conduct like a mini seance. Yeah, there's a bring, little prayer. <laughs> to bring back the spirits of the dead. You offer a prayer. Suddenly a warm light reaches where it comes from, a gentle voice echoes. Lost spirits. Leave the realm where darkness reigns. Alright, you want to take over? Can you take over? Yeah. <laughs> this is a better way to put it. So I think you gotta walk to the left and up around to the snow area. We're doing it. It's happening. We're gonna make it to the cave that has the goddess bell. The ice cave. The ice cave, which is like an actual dungeon instead of a diversion to run an errand before you go <laughs> to the dungeon. Hey, hey, Come here. Come on up. Hop up. Come on. So we get to the snow area, which mm -hmm. once you have the sled, like you transform into a sled when it you works get kind of like the canoe, but on snow. Whoa. Cool. Whoa. That's neat. And it's not just a sled. What it is is like a land sail. You yeah. know, like when you see people out in salt flats and they're like on some <laughs> crazy board with wheels with a big sail and they're just like flying across with the... like goggles on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a real Burning Man kind of construction. Driving There's no Arizona. random encounters in this. Yeah. This is great. Wow. Oh. 
Never mind. <laughs> so we make it through the snow fields. It's not that far. And we enter the ice dungeon. Ice to dungeon yet. We still don't have any ice spells. We haven't bought it. Yeah. I they, bet you, I mean, they've been around. They've been around. Fire. I bet you fire is effective in here. Yeah. Actually, the boss at the bottom of this is weak to ice. You wouldn't think so, but that's going to be important for me later. That's the kind of fuckery they put in this game. It's like, oh, they'll think that they're solving something with logic, but what we'll do is the Reverse opposite of the, the logic. logic. Yeah, exactly. Trap room. Fuck that. Oh my god. What are these things called? Icicles. Oh, these are just icicles. They look like dudes, though. I like it. But also icicles. They're like walking icicles. It's cool. That's a cool-ass design. That's the first sprite yeah, in this game that I think is straight up cool. <laughs> it looks like a dead chicken to me. I totally see that. <laughs> it does have, yeah. We should remember, should we equip that garlic to somebody in case we run into a vampire in here? I don't know. We should have looked up what garlic is for. I can do it right now. We yeah. Can find out finally what garlic is for. Because we're, we're like, should we equip it in case it's for the thing we assumed it's for, which it's not for? FF2 NES garlic. Garlic deals around 40 damage to every undead enemy you face. Oh, really? You can't buy garlic, and you'll rarely find them. Your only source is for more is soldiers, but it's a rare drop. It's a pretty good item to use on large groups of undead early in the game. Best of all, there's a 50% chance the item will be used up with each activation so like oh so like every time you use it there's it only a 50 remain. chance it'll actually be used man up. we really should have looked up what garlic did we should have used have garlic really fucking helpful it casts garlic three the spell garlic three <laughs> <laughs> wait you can cast garlic can you learn garlic let me see no, it's just a spell called Garlic 3 that's cast when you use garlic, and that's the only way to cast it. You mm. can't, like, learn garlic. The big place. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Well, reasonably, the most common thing in this fucking cave ice, of ice is icicles. God damn, another floor. Oh, of hey, ice. ice. Teach you to Jojo. Mm-hmm. God, these things level so yeah. fucking slow. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. After Mr. Freeze spent some time in prison and turned his life around whenever he sees Batman, <laughs> that's what he says. Nice to see you again. Nice. Yeah, like a game that makes you excited that you're getting hurt seems... Oh! Shit. We can test uh, out life. Uh. You were excited that JoJo was getting hit, but then you got very unexcited because- She got hurt a little too much. She died, and now she won't be able to level up. All that damage was for nothing. Ineffective? Life was ineffective? What are you talking Maybe about? Maybe that's why we need to level it. Maybe it doesn't always work. Well, will try it out of battle and see what happens. Yeah, so we should explain the suckiness of life in this game because yeah, the suckiness of life. The lower level it is, the less of a chance it has to work when you need it the most, which is in a battle. In order to get it to level up so that it works, mm -hmm. you got to use it in a battle pretty much. There's a lot of spells like this where you end up casting them even though you don't need them because if they're not leveled, they're not useful when you need them. It's unfortunate that uh Life sucks so much. <laughs> I think everyone can agree with that. I feel like that's how the Bible should open. <laughs> it's unfortunate that life sucks so much. Here's some stories about it. <laughs> yeah, here's some stories about how much it sucks. Trap room or treasure room? Oh, there's so many of them. I know. That's Snowman. Right. Joe, Joe, Snowman. Joseph Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it just said. Man, I thought giving her this mithril rod would be a good move, but she can't seem to hit anything with it. So far, I've walked through three doors in this dungeon. Mm -hmm. All of them are empty trap rooms. And here's another. Fucking you guys. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> I hate that. That sucks. I mean, that's so. I feel uncool. like everyone we've walked in is like that. Like, why would I go in one of those doors? Because maybe. Yay. I bet this is a way forward. Fuck. And... Oh! oh! Oh, what is this? I don't know. Oh, who are you guys? 
Friends? Beavers. beavers. Gow wow. Yeah, through one of these doors is a bunch of beavers. God, the fact that m almost every door is a trap door, but they teach you early on that you have to check them all because mm -hmm. they're the way forward also mm -hmm. is just fucking mean. It is. But anyway, th we found beavers. This is probably my favorite thing in the game. There's a room full of beavers at the bottom of this ice cave. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's not the bottom of this ice cave. It's the midpoint of this ice well, cave. Well, in the underground. Yes. Deep underground. Deep underground, there's a beaver cave. <laughs> Cave. Say, got a spell. Wow. Sunflame. Sunflame. Airship. Warship. The mithril. The other okay. cave. No, 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 there's the desert rose or whatever. No, I, I don't think that they're part of the rebellion. Talk to them about the rebellion. <laughs> Wild rose. No. Alright. Gow, wow, okay. Oh, wow. That and one now looks we like have an to elder. Walk beaver. in all of these doors. That one. Yeah, no, we do. I can understand. Slam can understand the beaver. Got a spell. One of the beavers in here knows about the bell. And Slam can talk to beavers, is a plot point of this game. Apparently. He's like, hold on, I can understand. And it's like, cheat, 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 cheat. And he's like, there's a secret door to the right. <laughs> <laughs> a bell is hidden beyond the right wall, he says. Okay. Warship. Warship. Sunflame. Sunflame. And Airship. You, okay, so the bell is to the right of this room? Maybe. This right wall? I don't know. Go out. Well. Oh, oh my god, we found it. What the this fuck? This is nuts. Yeah, the dungeon continues. Yeah, we walk into a, a secret area that's full of tall ice grass. Am I in... Are you in grass? <laughs> ice grass. <laughs> I wish that room had some kind of healing properties. Why is it I full know. of beavers? Ice beavers? I don't know. Yeah, wow. It was so nice when Min was in the party. I know. Whoa. Man, I so feel like they put all those doors with nothing in so you would come to that one and go, fuck this, I'm not opening the door. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> I think that's exactly, I think you're exactly correct. <laughs> now you're out of a mm -hmm. Yeah, have her cure David once, or herself, yeah. Come on up, come on. Yeah, but I worry, like, so this guy, there might be two boss fights, and also this first one... Yeah, but I, I mean, I can't just not heal. Physical attacks might not be. No, I know. So we've made it to the end of the dungeon, but as will be typical in this game, we're basically out of magic, we're mm -hmm. out of ways to heal. If the boss can only be hurt by magic, we're gonna be fucked. There's a chest and a dude. Mm -hmm. What's in the box? Silver. Who should put that on? Slam. The guardian of the goddess bell. Fuck. Here we go. It's another turtle. Adamanti. Adamantortus! Yeah, this is the first Adamantis in uh, Final Fantasy. I mean, I can't remember. There might have been one in the first one. I think I read that there's not. I oh, think I okay. read that this is the first. Fun facts. Yes. For all of you to tell your kids. We should publish a book called Fun Facts to Tell Your Kids, <laughs> and, and it's, it's just, all Final Fantasy just pointless <laughs> Final Fantasy, like, fun facts. Oh, right, I don't have any magic points left. I'm just gonna blink everybody. Right. You're fired. Adamanti, you're fired. Oh, man. I believe in you, dude. I think that you got I think, this. no, I, I'm, I feel okay about this. Oh. This is what I was worried about with the magic situation. Well, okay. He can hit him. Okay. Then why... I don't know. Most of our characters cannot hit the Adamantus for any amount of damage. Well, the thing that's so maddening in this game is they hit him, but then do zero damage. Mm -hmm. So, basically, Joseph is the only one who's putting in any work. Slam can when he crits. Yeah. Jojo has, like, three spells left that they, she can cast. That sucks. That does suck. And just with just no explan- Just- I- what? You know what I just realized? You have more potions, they're all equipped to people. You're good! You I have know, plenty I of know. HP, but I just realized that. Yeah. The trick with this boss is that he's weak to ice magic, and we just can't really cast ice magic. Well, we just got it, because it's level one, we're like, this is a boss, we should use fire on him, it's an ice cave, it's fire time. That time you didn't touch him. You didn't touch him the time before, either. Well, I just hope these next two fire spells do it. This is maddening. Yeah, we're gonna lose. And I'm not gonna have time to come back down here. I knew that, like, we were headed towards the end of this day, and I thought it would happen with, uh, us beating this ice cave. I did, too. You know? Joe fell. This is fucked! This is fucked! Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, lame, dude, lame. Well, I know, I know exactly. You know, it's like it won't take, it won't be that hard. This is exactly what happened to me though before with the, like the last one. I know, you you almost man. So we just gotta remember that bosses are immune to physical attacks. A lot of them are. Or shit. Don't use magic on the way down. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> David ha did some damage with a critical hit, and we're just like, what if What if this happens? We basically know that we've lost, though, and mm -hmm. your only option really is to just, like, wait until you do lose. <laughs> Man, I wanted that to do it. How funny would that be? A lot of these boss fights where you get there and you, like, don't have what you need to win, mm -hmm. it's almost like if slot machines took a long time. You know, like, if you pulled the lever, and instead of it, like, spinning around for a few seconds and then being like, you lost, put in another coin, <laughs> it took, like, 10 or 15 minutes of, like, <laughs> like making, making crazy noises noise. and sounds, what? and then you just wait. And, and then the you're... first bar comes in, and then the second one comes in, and it's, it, like, it's off, and you know you've you, lost. You haven't won, but you've got to wait. But you've got to wait for there's the another next, six like, or there's seven another minutes. Ten, six or seven minutes before, before the third one locks in, and then you know. And, you, and it's like, you lost, so you didn't win anything, and then you have to fucking play it again, because you're a gambling addict, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> this guy is never critting. I mean, his axe is crazy. This is hilarious. Actually, it's not hilarious. It's very unfunny. And then he misses you, and then you do hit him, just bouncing off of him. Now it's just down to David. Slam me, man. There you go. Oh, he's still alive. I want him to crit and do 12 damage and, like, <laughs> win. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Ugh. We're all the way on the outside of this cave. Which it's like... Ugh. I mean, I already feel like I should just go back to town, get wait, all of wait. our MP full. What is your MP at right now? Because I spent a ton of it coming up here is the problem. Like, uh, I was leveling a bunch of shit. Well then, yeah. Like, it would be no problem at all if I had spent you, none of it coming you up You idiot, why would you level? Look how much less health we have, it's so disheartening. All of it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just go back to town, and then maybe... We probably have enough time to go back up to the ice cave and save him from yeah. it, is what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. Yay! This is so fucking classic. This, this was this was just like shit. such a... I mean, games back then, this is just what they did to you. All of them. Like, they suck a dick, then. Like, why are they... Like... How are there still video games, is what I want <laughs> Yeah! Know. People fucking bought this and did this over... And accepted this yeah. abuse? <laughs> yeah, seriously. How is there a thriving industry? <laughs> Hey, look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Haley, it's just intruders coming to murder your family. Yes. Why are you so upset about it? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, getting this game when it came out and trying to figure out what, like, why is my health going up? Like, what happened? Like, right. What? I mean, hopefully it's in the instruction. It's, it man. gotta be, right? Haley, with the eye scratches, just won't get enough of it. You want me to scratch your eye, I get it. So we go back to Salmondo and heal, and then make the trek back up to the ice mm -hmm. cave. I don't want David's intelligence to go down. I just don't want to use his magic points while I'm walking to the fur. You think we'll find a piano that if you play this theme on it, it like pops <laughs> out a thing? I do quite like this music. I really like it. And we make it to stop right outside the ice cave. Save. Save. We don't have enough time to do this, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, All right. No, we definitely not. All right, well. What the fuck? Very little progress, but we know what to do next. Yeah. That was such a That was kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was almost satisfying. Final Fantasy. Almost satisfying. <laughs> And that's episode four of season five of No One Can Know About This. Well, we got the sled at least. Yeah. But we got to redo that whole ice dungeon. What happened? That was day two. And we mm -hmm. basically like figured out the quest, got the sled. And technically that's the amount of progress that we made in the game. The yeah. whole day. Yeah. Well, it was like a short day because I had to go to work. It was, but it was, you know, a number of hours. It was at least that like was three or four, four hours, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That was four hours. <laughs> God, man. <laughs> well, I think we waited another chunk of time 
before getting going again on more Final Fantasy 2 on day three. <laughs> yeah, we were not eager to jump back into this ever. Like, every single time I remember I'd be like, tomorrow, going to Jeff's. It's weird. It's like we started doing this because we had so much fun playing video games mm -hmm, as friends, mm -hmm. and now I'm like, fucking, we have to play these games I don't yeah. want to play. We were not in a good place to play this Every one. time I go see my friend, we do something that sucks. <laughs> oh, before we go, are you ready to call in the copy boy and always, see if we've got any I'm messages? always ready to call in the copy boy. Copy boy! Copy Come boy. on in! Copy boy! Oh, it looks like today he's wearing just a, a ton of fragile wine glasses that he's tied all over his clothing. It's really remarkable to see. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, Isn't that God. cutting I, you up? It's dangerous. Dude, don't wear this suit again. Yes, give me the message. Thank you. Okay, the message reads, Experience the greatest video game stories of all time in a new podcast inspired by No One Can Know About This. Let's Listen combines raw game audio with narration to create rich soundscapes and a seamless narrative. No loading screens, no repetitive gameplay, just pure story. Season 1 of Let's Listen tells the story of The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. You can follow Let's Listen on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and you can find it at letslistenpodcast.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you, Jeff and Ryan, for being the inspiration behind Let's Listen. You guys rock, and I can't wait to hear what voice you end up doing for Steiner in, in Final Fantasy IX. Welcome to the fucking revolution. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Let's Listen. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to check this out. Walking yeah. Dead, in particular, Season 1, the Telltale thing, is a really, really well-told story. Some of those older Telltale games were great before they totally fell apart. Well, it's a complicated... Some of them even... Well, yeah, I mean, God, Tales from the Borderlands is so good. Yeah. But The Walking Dead really, mm -hmm. like, brought me to tears when I played it the first time. So I can't wait to go listen to Let's Listen... Thank you so much for that message. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for making a podcast. Yes. Thank you so much, Sam Hillestad. We really appreciate it, mm -hmm. Sam. All right, copy boy. Take it away. Go file your cheese. That's we got to hire a sweeper boy for all this glass. Dangerous, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in a copy message, just email nocappodcast at gmail.com. We do payments through PayPal. The messages are $25 each, so just send us an email and we will make it happen. Mm -hmm. And with that, let's end the show. Why don't you all tell your friends about this show so that you can all share in our misery together. Also, tell them that Adam Antoys appears for the first time in Final Fantasy 2. Tell your friends, tell your kids. Tell your kids. <laughs> Send them off to school with something important in their heads. Something that they can tell their friends yeah. so that they can be cool <laughs> at school. And also tell your kids to tell their friends to rate and review us on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Apple Podcasts. Yeah, Podcast. it's Apple Podcasts. Don't forget. So iTunes. iTunes has been long gone. Except that it's still... It exists on Windows. Is the only way... Yeah, it's the only way I can hook my phone up to my computer. No, it's done through the Finder now, man. I have a Windows computer, bro. Well, then, fuck me. But also, I have an older Mac, and it still has iTunes, too. Well, you should update the software, then, fuck and that. get Are rid you of your crazy? iTunes. Are you crazy? Are you insane? I'm not going to install the newest operating system on that thing. They want me to. Every time I turn it on, they like won't leave me alone about it. But that would be a crazy thing to do. <laughs> Everybody agree. knows not to That's update not, your Apple shit after well, three years. Yeah, three to five <laughs> years. Well, certainly with a phone. My brother. Once you get to three years with a phone, don't do it. The, you're gonna. Ha Brent is still rocking an iPhone five. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, he just has never updated it, and it still works great <laughs> for him. <laughs> well. You all should rate and review us. Update your reviews. Yeah. Make new fake accounts mm -hmm. and review us in various places. Thank you so much to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Yes, as always, we really appreciate it. We're trying to have some new extra content for you guys mm -hmm. soon. And you can support us at Patreon at patreon.com slash nocat. You can get a free t-shirt or mug at a certain tier. I guess that makes it not technically free, but it's not really... You, that's not the spirit of the Patreon. Well, because it's like how whenever you buy weed, you're not really buying weed. You're donating to the collective, you know? 
I think it's that, different now that it's, it's legal, now. but back for a long time, yeah, it was like that. it was like for a thirty dollar donation. Yeah, I think it's more <laughs> like a PBS tote bag where you get like a thing for donating, right, you're but you're really NPR. just supporting them. Yeah, you didn't really. You're not doing it for the bag, right? For this, you might actually do it more for the mug because they're kick ass mugs yeah. and shirts. So also go to the Etsy page where we sell them individually if you don't want to support us on Patreon but do want to support the show. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. We should get Tom Hanks in here to guilt trip people into supporting us. It works for NPR. There would have been a live stream message already, but that would have been earlier. We should do a pledge week. and Just always <laughs> be pledge week. People love pledge week. People love pledge week. <laughs> so pledge now. We're about to play some Final Fantasy, but first... Pledge. Did you know that your donations go to support more Final Fantasy being played? <laughs> Is that a thing that you knew about your donations? I know you all think that the government pays for this podcast, <laughs> but that's just not true. And Tom Hanks can't pay for all of it. Alfred P. Sloan is not involved. No. Um, uh, that's enough fun and games. Yeah. W speaking of no more fun and games, we also stream fun and games on Twitch. Mm -hmm. at twitch.tv slash podcast. So join us there if you want to interact with us live. Watch us play another game that's not Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. And with that, here's your fucking dessert. Enjoy! It's a body swap movie. We're a boomer and a, and a millennial. Oh, uh, okay. Boomerang. It's not about a professional boomerang thrower. Well, it's about a guy who switches bodies with a professional boomerang thrower. <laughs> Billy Crystal. Look at boomerangs over here. <laughs> you get some kid who knows how to do a good Billy and Crystal impression to be the kid. <laughs> you know what? Here it is. It's a body swap movie where the adult is Walter, Walter Matthau and the kid is Walter Matthau. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, back in the era of Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon movies, it's a body swap movie where they swap bodies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like doing impressions, they do of, each impressions other. of each other. I'd be into that. I just when it's Walter like, Matthau is Jack Lemmon. I, Jack Lemmon is Walter, Walter Matthau. <laughs> I just want a body swap movie where the kid is in Walter Matthau's body and Walter Matthau looks at his dick and it's, and is like, wow, it's a lot bigger than my used to be. Like, just... <laughs> like, well, the idea of Walter Matthau being amazed by his penis yeah, is really funny Yeah, that is really funny. <laughs> Holy cow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah. How about a body swap movie where it's a kid and Mr. Bean? So then Mr. Bean sees his big penis for the first time. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's always just to get to a bad scene. That's seat. all I want is I want this bit with a lot of different... <laughs> Like, I, and fuck it, the movie is just this bit again and again with different <laughs> actors doing it. 